Hello folks, welcome back today. This is going to be a how to on how to fix Photoshop's laggy issues. If you've ever used Photoshop or your life for that matter, you will always notice how Photoshop lags. Even if you've got a $1,000 system, a $2,000 system like mine, hell, even a $5,000 system and Photoshop will still lag. There's a simple fix and there's not a lot of people that know how to do this. Most videos where you look up how to fix Photoshop's lagginess, they tell you to go into the preference tab here, into performance, and you know, when you're in performance here, once it opens, ah, great, wow, thanks Photoshop, so you would go in here, you'd either tick your graphics processor, or untick it, or go into advanced settings and turn stuff off, or give Photoshop more RAM, that can help, depend on your system, um, but for me, Whenever I move around text, so here's a font right here. Uh, beforehand, this would be super choppy, and the text would actually be uh, screen tearing. So if you've ever turned on, um, what was it, G-Sync for video games, if you've ever seen screen tearing in a game, that's basically what my Photoshop did for the longest time, and this would be super laggy. It's still kind of choppy now, but it's not as choppy as it used to be. Shout out to, uh, what was it, Surges, Mike Text, and The Shining. Shout out to this guy on YouTube for helping me with this. I'm just going to recreate what he's done, but full credit to him over there. So what you want to do to fix this issue, we want to just close your Photoshop. Okay, let me just can save this real quick. Close your Photoshop, and what you want to do is, is go to these display settings. So go to display settings, right-click, display settings. Go down to where it says graphics settings, and then in here, you want to add your Photoshop into the apps here. You want to go to browse and then you want to go to find when your Photoshop is. Now, your Photoshop should be in your program file. So here is the, um, here is the, oh boy, here is the directory. I will put this in the description if you don't want to have to go look for it. Um, yours might be on the C drive or maybe the D, E drive, whatever it is. You want to go down to it and find, um, find your, uh, photoshop.exe. And what you want to do it, you, you want to do is add it. I've already got it added, so you want to add it, and when you want to click on it when it's added, you want to go to options, and you want to be able to go, you want to be able to click on high performance mode. Future Josh here, um, if you ever update Photoshop, Lightroom, or any other program that uses graphic settings, uh, you will have to add this, because after I updated to Photoshop 2023, the issues started happening, so once again, go to your, you know, display, go to your graphic settings, let me just get to my display here. Go down to graphic settings and make sure you add it in after the fact. Every time you update the software because it started lagging again. And I was like, why is it lagging again? I swear I fixed this. Um, this is the only way I've been able to get it to um, fix itself. Wait, when possible, get a higher frame rate and reduce screen tearing in games that don't support variable refresh rate by default. You might need to restart your game for this to get fixed. Huh. They, they could help, but yeah, make sure whenever you update your app, make sure to add it in after the fact. Don't let Windows decide, because what it does is then, for certain stuff in Photoshop, it'll switch between the graphics and your CPU, and it, it, it's a mess, it lags. So, um, do that. Now, I think there's a certain Windows version you have to be on for this system to work. If I just go into, I think it's system here. You have to be on Windows version higher than 20, uh, 20, oh, version 20 H2. I'm on 21 H2, so make sure you update your Windows to the latest one. As you can see, I've got a Ryzen 7 3700X and 32 gigs of RAM. And yes, Photoshop still lags, but now I've fixed it. Uh -huh. So not bad. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, oh, I've closed it. That's not what I want to do. Sorry. So go back to display settings. Go back to graphic settings. So when you've gone here and click options and added that um, to the graphics preference there, you should be able to click save. And Dorian, we're not done yet. Now, if you're on NVIDIA, uh, not NVIDIA, if you're on AMD, I'm not sure if this is the same thing. I'll have to test this on my brother's computer because uh, that has AMD and see if that still has the same issues because that used to lag as well. Anyway, once you do that, right click and go to your NVIDIA control panel. Just uh, give it a few seconds, even with my fast computer, it still takes a while to load. Once you're in here, go to your manage 3D settings, go to program settings, and then in program settings, you want to add Photoshop. So you want to click add, 
find Photoshop. If you can't find him, you have to go browse. And when you've added that, there was something in his video he did, but I didn't have the option. In his video, there's an option for select the preferred graphics processors for the program. Um, I don't have that option, which is um, quite interesting. Uh, but once you've done that, once you have done this, uh, everything should be good to go. I'm actually going to do this with Lightroom for you guys real quick. So here, let me just fire up Lightroom. Because Lightroom tends to lag, even though it's not as intensified as um, Photoshop. So we got to load up this high quality image here. It's going to hate me in a minute. So even when I scroll on here, look at, oh god, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, so even when I scroll and go through all my images here, this tends to kind of lag. It's not as bad as Photoshop. I'm actually going to go back to preferences here and mess with some control stuff. I had this set to auto, but I'm going to keep it back at auto and click done here. Um, and then we're going to close Lightroom. And we're going to do the same thing for Lightroom. And you can probably do this for any program that uses graphics processing. So we're going to right click, go to display settings. We're going to jump back down to graphics here. We're going to click browse. And Lightroom should be in the same... And oh, it should be in the same place. Mm, it's not. Right click. Uh, properties. This is a great way to find where the file location is. App. Ah, so this is a program files, but Adobe, uh, if Photoshop is a program data. So again, if you have it on your computer, make sure to go to program files. I'm going to copy that so that I can close this, jump into here, control, by the way, control C and then control V to paste. If you um, don't know, I can click on that. I can click then add and I could probably do the same thing. Click on high performance mode, click save. And then once again, open up the NVIDIA, NVIDIA control panel. Then in here, go to program settings under manage 3D settings, and then go to add. And then you see Adobe Lightroom, click add. And then boom, I think it automatically uses this as a preferred graphic settings. Um, you can change stuff in here if you want to, but I probably should leave it alone. And now Lightroom should run a bit better. I have a 2070 in my computer. You would think a 2070, even though it's a few years old by now, four years old, you still think a, a graphics card from four years ago would still perform, especially today where technology is getting faster and faster and faster and more efficient than ever. Having the latest graphics card isn't the be on end on. You can still have something that's old and it'll perform quite well. For example, Fortnite at 1440p, I can get over 100 FPS at high to medium settings. So uh, there you go. So yeah, let's jump back into Lightroom. What if it launches faster now, actually? It did launch a bit faster. And let's see if that fixed. It might not have fixed the issue I have in here. No, it's still kind of broken. <laughs> It's still kind of broken, but if I move this around here, move that down and up, move the exposure up. Oh, well, one thing it's done is stop the flickering issue I had. So there's an issue where I would change something, and the screen would sometimes just flash for some reason, and it was annoying. So it did fix that. It didn't fix this issue. This issue might just be an NVIDIA driver thing here. This happening. That's probably some NVIDIA something to do. But yeah, there you go, guys. How to fix uh, lag and flickering in uh, Photoshop and uh, Lightroom. If you did like the video, make sure to, what was it, like, uh, what was it? Make sure to check out Serge's video and like his video as well and drop a comment. Um, you know, credit where credit is due. I don't like to just steal people's videos and say, oh, I came up with the idea. No. Check out Serge's video as well if you are interested and drop a like. But um, yeah, stay tuned. If I find any more bugs, I will try to fix them and uh, show you guys. Either way, without further ado, I'll catch you all next time.